That's right. We are just under an hour away until the regional stay at home order goes into effect. Now, some of those industries that will be impacted are restaurants where they have to stop all outdoor dining and all bars and breweries must close. Now, today I spoke with Pyrenees who says they are completely closing, but they wish they could defy the order, but feel like there's too much to risk. Now, I also spoke with a local brewery who says they're going to stay as open as much as they can. I'm still fearful for my liquor license that I, I feel like we have to, we've been pushed up against a wall. We, we're backed into a corner. Uh, with, with that being said, you know, if I didn't have that to lose, I, I would be open 100%. Julie Crawford is one of the owners of Pyrenees Cafe and the Silver Fox Bar. Crawford says she has not been able to open up the Fox since March, but has decided to fully close the Basque restaurant during this regional stay at home order. So we did try to do the takeout the last time and we watched our bank account go f just dwindled to almost zero in two weeks. It was just with the Basque food being a little intricate to go boxes and you know, nine different courses. It's it's really hard to do. Due to the San Joaquin Valley's ICU capacity falling under 50% triggered this regional stay at home order issued by the governor. As a Sunday evening, according to the California Department of Public Health, the San Joaquin's Valley ICU capacity is at 6.6%. Industries that must close down include hair salons, barber shops, museums, movie theaters, playgrounds, all outdoor dining, bars and breweries. A lot of small business owners at this point feel like we're presented with an opportunity here to either die fighting, and that is to say, stay open and you know buck the system here and make the money that we can make, um, or shut down and face pretty much, which pretty much feels like giving up and quitting. The Crusader Brewing Company in Southwest Bakersfield has been open for nearly two years now. They say they understand the seriousness of the spread of COVID-19, but believes it should be up to customers to make the ultimate choice. When asked if the brewery plans to close, here's what they had to say. So I think we're going to go ahead and follow the same guidelines that our local community here, Kern County, um, is willing to enforce and is wanting to enforce and what our residents here, what our customers here want to do. If that, if, if the state feels like they need to come down and stop us from doing something, then we're open to welcoming them in. We're going to stay as open as we possibly can. And we also did reach out to the public health department on enforcement and again, and they say they will continue to do that by educating to the community and residents and businesses 